Hello, and welcome to Grilling and Chilling with Mojo. The other day, um, I was thinking about Disneyland when I was a kid, and they had uh, the sandwich called the Monte Cristo, and absolutely loved it. It was an amazing sandwich. And I thought to myself, you know, I wonder if we can do a little twist on this thing. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make a Monte Cristo, but a little different. You probably saw the uh, thumbnail. Yeah, it's, uh, it's actually probably gonna be delicious. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, try to make this thing. So I have some oil on, and what I wanna do is bring that temperature up to about 365-ish. Okay, so here's some of our ingredients. So we have some turkey, deli turkey, some uh, black forest ham, and some Swiss. And that's what they generally put on a, uh, some breading and uh, dipped it in a batter and then deep fried it and, that's, and then put some powdered sugar over it. So my way is I'm gonna put it on a tortilla. And uh, we're gonna do, like they, uh, they've been doing like on um, like the TikToks and popular uh, social medias. And uh, we're gonna do that. We're gonna slice a little cut here. And we're gonna go ahead and do this little like trend that's been going on, but we're gonna do a little different. And then uh, our ingredients for our batter is one and three quarter cups of flour. And uh, a teaspoon of baking powder. Go ahead and put that in there. A quarter teaspoon of salt. And what do I have? I have, that's pretty much it, and a cup and three quarters of water, which is gonna go in there, and then we're gonna go ahead and mix that all up. So we're going to mix this really, really good. And this is pretty much your batter. It's pretty basic. It's almost like a pancake thickness. Okay. Raspberry jam. That's like uh, one of the key ingredients on the side when you... Um, you know, order this thing at Disney, and you get a little side gel jam with that. And then, of course, we're gonna sprinkle it when we're finished with a little bit of powdered sugar. One thing I did forget to add is an egg. I don't know how I did that, but I did. So add one egg, and we'll mix that in there. Okay, let's go ahead and build this. Um, I'm guessing we'll take some turkey. So I'm no, I don't know what I'm doing here, so it's the first time, so bear with me. Some ham. Some Swiss cheese. And then we'll flip it. Do the same thing. I'm gonna tuck it over on this side. Some turkey. Some ham. Swiss cheese. Flip it. So this is gonna be a, a triple guy. So we'll put some ha uh, turkey. We're gonna cut that off, that's a little bit too much turkey. And probably the same with the ham. Actually the ham's pretty good. And then we're gonna go with some Swiss. Probably put a little bit extra Swiss on there. And we gotta pin this thing together so it doesn't make a huge, huge mess. So 
we're gonna go one. Kind of watch out how I do this because I gotta flip this thing over too. Two our our uh, oils up to temperature. It's it's actually right there. It's getting a little hotter than I want it to be. And number four. So we have four pin, four toothpicks in there. Let's go ahead and put it in the oil. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, get this batter going. Our oil is up to about 365. And we're gonna go ahead and uh, dip this in the batter. You want to be really careful because this is pretty liquidy and uh, not burn yourself. There we go. Try to get the excess off and not drip it all over the place. And I'm guessing it should only take a couple minutes on each side. Try to dip that under there. Well, I can't even dip it. Hot oil. And try not to burn yourself. This is kind of dangerous, so I turned the heat off just because I didn't want to cause a fire. And uh, next time I'll, I would probably recommend just do it in your, your fryer if you have a fryer. Go ahead and check that bottom. Tad longer. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it off. We're gonna put it on some uh, paper towels just to get that oil off. Soak up a little bit of that oil. And then we're gonna sprinkle a little bit. Then we're gonna dust it with a little bit of, and I'm gonna call that good right there. So let's go ahead and put that on a platter here. Go ahead and dust this with a little bit of powdered sugar. And that's good enough. And a raspberry jam. And, and there we go. That is a Monte Cristo the, uh, special twist with a tortilla. Um, it looks amazing to me. Um, I'm thinking it's going to taste pretty amazing. And uh, let's go ahead, cut this thing open, and uh, give it a try. Monte Cristo using a tortilla versus bread. Um, the cheese melted okay. I feel that the cheese could have melted a little bit better, you know, but um, it still melted. It's not goozing out like I would like it to. And I just, you know, it's pretty thick. Probably let it set in that oil a little, little bit longer and I think it would have probably did okay. But let's go ahead and try this. And like I said, you gotta have that jam on there. And it seems weird, 
but um, it's actually really, really good. And then a little bit of that powdered sugar. Let's go ahead and give a bite of this goodness. Pretty crunchy. Mm. If you never had a Monte Cristo, they are really, really yummy. And um, super good. Mm. Wow. So good. They're one of my faves. And um, be honest, I really, I probably made them once in my life. But um, I follow the recipe, like like Disneyland makes it, their batter and whatnot. And it's not bad, it's actually really good. Cheese could have been melted a little bit better, but next time. Okay, so second time's a charm. Uh, what I did is I took that second piece and uh, put it back under there for a little bit longer as I can flip this around. Come on, girl. And you can see how much that cheese is melted. So a lot better. I should have left it in just a little bit longer and I would have got that, that melted cheese look. So like I said, it, this is a must try. It's super delicious. And so good. Thank you for watching my channel. I appreciate it. Thank you for all the subscribers that subscribe. And um, if you haven't subscribed, I really uh, appreciate if you'd subscribe and hit that button down there. I'm really thankful for that. Hit that thumbs up. And uh, hope everybody is having a fabulous week. And I'll see you on the next cook.